Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll talk about Google Cloud. We'll go through set of questions on GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform. So let's begin. Just a quick uh, understanding on what is Google Cloud. Google Cloud Platform GCP is a suite of cloud computing services provided by Google that runs on the same infrastructure that Google uses internally for its products like Google Search, Gmail, and YouTube. GCP offers a wide range of services including computing, storage, database, machine learning, data analytics, and networking, allowing businesses to build, deploy, and scale applications easily and effectively. With a focus on open source technologies, security, and data analytics, GCP provides flexible and scalable solutions for a variety of needs for small startups to large enterprises. Key features of GCP include its global network, robust security measures, cost-effective pricing model, and strong support for hybrid and multi-cloud environments, making it a popular choice for businesses looking to leverage the power of cloud computing. Now we'll start with few basic questions. The first basic question could be, what is Google Cloud Platform GCP and why it is important? Google Cloud Platform GCP is a suite of cloud computing services offered by Google that runs on the same infrastructure that Google uses internally for its end-user products such as Google Search, Gmail, File Storage, and YouTube. GCP provides a range of services including computing, storage, networking, machine learning, and big data analytics that enable business to build, deploy, and scale applications in the cloud. Moving to the next one, what are the key differences between AWS, Azure, and GCP? Following are the key differences between Azure, AWS, and GCP. Now, first, market position. How is the market of these three cloud providers are? AWS is the market leader, followed by Azure, and then GCP. Now, what are the strengths? AWS is known for its broad and mature service offering. Azure integrates well with Microsoft services and is popular in enterprises. GCP is known for its strength in data analytics, machine learning, and networking. Now, pricing. GCP often positions itself as a cost-effective solution with strong sustained use discounts. Focus. GCP emphasizes open source integration, Kubernetes, and advanced data and AI services. Moving to the next section, which is technical question. The first question. Explain the difference between Compute Engine, App Engine, and Kubernetes Engine. Compute Engine provides IaaS infrastructure as a service by offering virtual machines that runs on Google infrastructure. It allows users to configure their VMs, including OS, memory, and storage. App Engine, a pass platform as a service that allows developers to build and deploy applications without worrying about managing the underlying infrastructure. It supports automatic scaling and handles many operational tasks. Kubernetes Engine, GKE, a managed Kubernetes services that allows users to deploy, manage, and scale containerized applications using Kubernetes. It combines the benefits of containers and orchestration. Moving to the next one, what is Google Cloud VPC and what are its key components? In response, Google Cloud VPC, Virtual Private Cloud, is a virtual network that provides connectivity and security for your GCP resources. It allows users to define IP address range, create subnets, and control access with firewall rules. Key components of VPC are subnets, Define IP ranges with, uh, within a region. Routes. Direct traffic between the VPC and between VPCs. Firewall rules. Control inbound and outbound traffic. VPN and interconnect. Provide secure private connectivity between on-premises network and GCP. How does Google Cloud Storage differ from Google Cloud Bigtable? Google Cloud Storage an object storage service designed to store large unstructured data like images, videos, backups, and logs. It provides various storage classes, standard, nearline, cloudline, archive, based on data access needs. Google Cloud Bigtable, 
a fully managed NoSQL database service designed for large analytics and operational workloads. It is ideal for time series data, IoT data, and high throughput analytics. Moving to the next one, what is Google Cloud Pub slash sub and what are its primary cases? Google Cloud Pub sub is a messaging service that enables asynchronous communication between independent applications using a publisher subscriber model. It decouples services that produce events from those that process events allowing for scalable and flexible architectures. Use cases event driven architecture that is triggering actions based on specific event, real time data streaming for analytics that example injecting and processing sensor data, microservices communication example decoupling service communication. Moving to the next one. What are primitable VMs in GCP and why would you use them? Primitable VMs are short-lived cost-effective virtual machines that can be terminated by Google by at any time when the resources are needed elsewhere. They are idle for batch processing, fault tolerance and stateless applications where interruptions are acceptable. They offer significant cost savings compared to standard VMs. Moving to the next. How do you secure a GCP environment? The best practices to secure a GCP environment are use IAM rules and follow the principle of least privilege, enable VPC service controls to define security parameters and account services, use cloud identity aware proxy IAP to restrict access to applications without a VPN, implement cloud armor for DDoS protection and cloud security command center for centralized visibility and control, store and manage secrets securely using Google Cloud Secret Manager. Moving to the next. What is Google Cloud Spanner and what makes it unique? Google Cloud Spanner is a fully managed, scalable, globally distributed and strongly consistent database service. It combines the best features of relational database transaction SQL support with the horizontal scalability of non-SQL databases. Its uniqueness lies in its ability to offer global distributions, high availability and strong consistency across multiple regions. Now we will go through few scenario based questions. The first one, describe how you would migrate a legacy on-premises application to GCP. The approach would be, first is assessment, analyze the current application architecture, dependencies and data storage. The second, planning. Create a migration plan including timelines, required GCP services and potential risk. Infrastructure setup. Set up GCP resources like VPC, Compute, Engine, Cloud SQL or GKE. Data migration. Use tools like storage transfer services or database migration services. Application deployment. Deploy the application using Compute Engine or App Engine. Testing, validate functionality in a test environment, cut over, perform a final data sync and switch traffic to GCP environment, optimization, monitor performance and optimize for cost efficiency. Moving to the next one, how would you set up a CI CD pipeline in GCP? The steps are code repository, use cloud source repositories or integrate with GitHub or Bitbucket. Build pipeline. Use cloud build to automate the build process including compiling, testing and packaging. Artifact storage. 
store build artifacts in container registry or cloud storage deployment use cloud deploy for automated deployments to services like app engine gke or compute engine monitor monitoring and alerts implement monitoring with cloud monitoring and set up alerts for build and deployment failures moving to the next section which is behavioral question describe a challenging project you worked on using gcp and how you overcome the obstacles again this is a model response please add or modify based on your own experience we migrated a legacy monolithic application from an on premises data center to a microservice architecture on gcp to improve performance and scalability with minimal downtime the challenges included dealing with tightly coupled in components complex data migration performance optimizations and meeting security requirements we refactored the application into microservices containerized them with docker and deployed on google kubernetes engine gke for data migration we used google database migration services to ensure real time synchronization and a smooth cutover we optimized performance using cloud load balancing auto scaling and set up monitoring with cloud monitoring and logging security was enhanced with iam role vpc service control and data encryption through cloud kms the migration was successful resulting in a 30% performance boost improved scalability and strengthened security demonstrating the value of leveraging gcp's managed services for complex cloud transaction thank you for watching this video hope it has been useful see you again in the next video